The Monerotopia Weekly News segment is sponsored by WizardSwap.io, a non-custodial cryptocurrency exchange. All right. All right. Um, and if anyone has any info on what's going on with Wizard Swap, um, that would be useful because it seems like their website's been broken for a while. They had a new domain, and the new domain is like on hmm. like I th- I think they're getting DDoSed or something. Uh, okay, the I new domain's heard, I... like blocking me, so I can't even check it out. Oh wow, I missed this news. All right, we'll we'll try to find out what's going on there. All right, I'm I think dropping they have the... the Cloudflare stuff very aggressive right now. Um, okay. Yep. Oh, yeah. Someone's going to dig dust. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and share my screen here. I just dropped the Telegram group in the in the chat, guys. And oh, for, I already did. Pork fest people. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Share. All right. Oh, there's my screen. All right. News of CBDCs in the last 24 hours. Coincidentally, the price of privacy coin Monero also went up. 2025, the year I says privacy coins will be in demand, is coming. Uh, I don't know who this guy is. Meta Ryuk. Um I don't know if this is has anything to do with actually being correlated or not. Yeah, no, but... it, was, it was just a, fu- a fun correlation. Um, yeah, Mar- as... Mar- Mar- has been definitely pumping recently. Yes, whether whether that has anything to do with the the rising uh, usage of CBDCs, we do not know. But I don't know, but it is interesting know. considering <laughs> how. Any, you know, exchanges it's gotten delisted from, right? For sure. Mario New Fall, not not fall. U.S. crypto crackdown imminent. Legislation that would force the crypto industry to identify users in order to avoid sanctions was inserted into the Senate Senate Select Committee on Intelligence's recent funding package. The measure would automate the process of sanctioning foreign digital asset transaction fac- facilitators, including exchanges that are linked to anyone who supports... Uh-oh terrorism mm. senator mark warner's staff has been meeting with industry representatives to determine whether it can be removed from the final version of the national defense authorization act source coindesk it's pretty crazy they tried to slip it into this bill this funding bill well, that's always how it's it works like, they they slip these like, yeah it would have been a tr- like the one of the largest moves in in terms of legislation against crypto that we've had ever to date and they just wanted to slip it into a funding bill uh, I'm not even sure. I don't even know what the exact language was, um, but it, apparently it seemed to be pretty broad. That that you know all all crypto needed to be de-anonymized essentially. Yep, but that is always how it works, though. Always, always try to slip it in. Hope hope that people don't notice it too much. You know, people are people have to vote, and people are trying to get something passed, and just kind of slip yeah. it in. Pretty pretty crazy. Some we would have effectively like tried to like ban Monero essentially. Crazy. I think this is yeah. This is this is the CoinDesk article that was just mentioned. Uh, so yep. we'll yeah. Yeah. It doesn't say much more in there to be honest. So I don't I don't know what the exact language was that they tried to slip in the bill, but it was extremely broad. And it's it sounds like it's not going to make it. It's going to get pulled out, but still. Which is and good. But yeah. An attempt yeah. was made. <laughs> Further attempts will be made in the near future. Uh, crazy. All right. So, uh, Postum uh, which is, re- this is really funny. Uh, got a meme here. This is one of those typical Twitter recycle meme accounts. Thank you for your help today. Here's some Bitcoin. Thank you. No, how am I supposed to tax this transaction? And it got totally community noted. For most people, paying in cash remains a more anonymous option. All Bitcoin transactions are public, traceable, and permanently stored. Bitcoin works with an unprecedented level of transparency that most people are not used to dealing with. I like the way they put that. An unprecedented level of transparency <laughs> that most people aren't used to dealing with, which is how, quite how, accurate. <laughs> how did community notes work? So like anybody can add a community note? You have to note apply for gets... community notes, and mm-hmm. if you get approved, then you can like... I, I I don't I don't do it so I don't know exactly how it works. Um, I, lo- I love the really fact funny. that really funny. I can't yeah. believe this massive post has been community noted against Bitcoin being private. It's, it's, it's great. It's true though, right? It's, it's, it's true. Cool. It's true. And it awesome links to, to the bitcoin.org slash protect your privacy, which is just like, you know, blah blah blah, using your addresses, use mixers, you know, it's just like a bunch of garbage that doesn't really okay. help you very much. Um I, so I guess it's the only way to really be private in Bitcoin. Um, it doesn't even mention newer stuff, but whatever. So next, another article from 
Coindesk. The European Union's Innovation Hub for Internal Security warned law enforcement agencies that crypto platforms like mixers, privacy coins, and layer two networks can complicate tracing the origin of funds. Privacy coins, mixers, and layer two platforms can make it difficult for law enforcement agencies to trace funds, according to a report from the European Union's Innovation Hub for Internal Security, a network of labs supporting internal security organizations in the 27 nation bloc. Okay. Well, I, I guess that's a good thing. If they're if they're if they're starting to re at the privacy, maybe it means it it works and it's effective. It's working. That's basically all I take from these kinds of articles. It's like, oh, okay, yes. yeah, they, they don't like it. That means it's working. Exactly. Uh, here's one from yourself. If you want to read this one. Oh, I can't even read it because oh, it's okay. too far yep. away. But yeah, I was just six. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give it a yep. give Here it we read. go. The hashtag bird flu narrative is growing. The vax is already ready and the goal appears to be controlling slash reducing our meat, dairy, egg, food supply. Opt out now so we are ready for what happens next. Come build out a digital cash based circular economy on XMRBazaar.com. We need peer to peer direct from farm food supply sold for untraceable, unstoppable Monero. Uh, it's we've got a picture from this article of uh, COVID with wings, backyard chicken coops. Uh oh, those those evil those evil neighbors in their backyard chicken coops are bringing <laughs> down the farming industry with the bird flu. <laughs> Yikes, dude! It's, it's scary, right? We we talked about this theoretically, like right, like years ago, two years ago now, whatever. We started saying they're gonna they're gonna start controlling our food supply, banning our you know measuring our access or uh, controlling our access to how much meat we can consume things like that so here you go uh, we're, it's this is the straw for me. i'm gonna go buy chickens i've been i've been talking about it for or wanting to for a while but uh yeah i haven't been following this whole bird flu thing too closely but it does either, seem like it's really ramping up they're trying to ramp yeah. it up and then blaming like people like yeah your backyard chickens come in contact with chicken right other chi you know, that, it's like it's insanely that's the stupid. problem right like we got we got to get rid of raw milk nobody can drink raw milk anymore um and then we got to make sure nobody's producing their own eggs in their backyard and and that that will solve the problem <laughs> it's fucking crazy it is crazy it's disgusting yeah buy chickens guys if you already have chickens buy 10 more chickens every time you, you see something telling you not to have back your chickens you buy more chickens 100 percent but yeah, if anybody has any good insights into what may happen with the bird flu thing, I was talking to some people at MoneroCon and they're they're concerned that there might be like another lockdown coming in November. Uh, I was talking to somebody who seemed to have been following this stuff pretty closely. So we shall see. That would be crazy. That would be insane. Or if something started to come before then, like we saw with COVID. And I the mean, last it's right. It's the same then, time. Yep. Same yeah, time. Yeah. Next, next thing you know, there's mail in voting again, right? And everybody's locked down, or, you know, they, they try to push something where they basically scare the hell out of everybody to stay home, mail in voting only. Um, who the fuck knows what's going on but it's they're doing something something's up with with the bird flu thing right now and it's 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 very much a growing narrative yeah i mean i'm not gonna like like worry you know like giving it attention is probably giving it more credence than it needs to have anyway so i'm not like gonna be up in arms about it but i'm not going to comply with whatever dumb bullshit they want us to do this time all right, next up, TFTC. Donald Trump says, Bitcoin mining may be our last line of defense against the CBDC. We want all the remaining Bitcoin to be made in the USA. Let's go, <laughs> America first and America number one. Now, what's funny about this is that well, what's going to happen is that instead of having China KYC all the miners, it's going to be the U.S. federal government that's going to KYC everybody. Once, once we are dominant in Bitcoin mining, the U.S. government will control most of it. Yeah, any any like Monero, a Bitcoin idiot who is like, this is fantastic. I mean, it just uh, it completely has lost the plot and not realizing that this just shows you that Bitcoin can be corralled because of its mining. Right? Oh, like, oh, like what Trump is saying here isn't that fucking far fetched. It, we can't get to the point where ninety nine percent of all mining is in the is in the U S. And what does that mean? Like you said, it's just going to be one or two, one or two companies that are controlling it all that are then working in concert with the government um, to whatever 
do do whatever the government asks of them at that point because they and want I mean, they want they rhetoric. want their monopoly on on Bitcoin mining. So they they will bend the knee absolutely. Uh, and realize this can't this can't be done with Monero. This cannot this cannot be done with Monero. Trump never wanted he never liked cryptocurrency. He never liked Bitcoin in the past, and now he's kind of forced to contend with the fact that uh, there's a large portion of people that want that and will potentially that, vote for him based on him like having good uh, rhetoric right. on crypto. But this is like taking it a step further where. Oh, uh, he's gonna. You know, it's just like taking it to his. You know, to the advantage of the federal government in a way. Like, we're going to be pro crypto, but to the point where everyone's mining in the U.S. and then we can have control over. Uh, <laughs> and then you got all the bitcoiners to play. Yeah, like they're really <laughs> fucking idiots. But that being said, I am. I am. I am all Trump this go around. Uh, you know, I've I've supported in 2020 when I was running for Congress. I voted for Trump. I was not about to vote for Biden, but I always explained my my issues with Trump, the things I didn't like about him, uh, that he was just the the best choice out of the two, right? Uh, but this time around, I'm, I'm 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 supporting him more. I'm promoting him. I'm saying we need we should we should vote for Trump. I think it will I think it will help crypto. I think it will help Monero. Is he is the guy like completely full of shit? Yeah, one hundred percent. But the fact is, he's catering. He's seeing a path to to the presidency by by catering to these ideas. Uh, we saw him come to the Libertarian National Convention. Um, so for whatever reason, he sees value in in selling these concepts. Um, so whether or not he actually believes in these things, I don't care. But when he says things like he's going to free Ross Albright on day one of his presidency, how do you not? Give it a give it a shot, right? Compared to what what the other options are, um, you know. I mean, is this just like effectively a electing... claim, right? Because I mean, he's, he, he, you know, there's a lots of things that were claimed that was going to be done last time around and weren't. This one really resonated with me, and I watched. Did you see him say it? I watched him oh, say yeah, it. it was at the I, Libertarian I lot, National yep. Convention. He stared everybody dead in the dead face in the in the eyes and says, "Hope ho where he's going to bring Ross home." So, um. Can he just, you know, lie about it? Of course. But what what's like I said, I'd, ra I'd rather gamble on that lie than the other option, which is the Biden administration, which I don't even, you know, that's just terrifying. At least I feel like this we have a, we have a chance to have somebody that even if it's for selfish reasons is going to move us more to swing us more towards liberty than away from it. That's my take. I mean, the only other option is RFK Jr. And Ugh, it also brings shivers down my spine. You know, I liked him out of the gate. I think you did too, a little bit, right? Um, yeah. But... And then, of course, as time goes on, you start to see, oh, he's like, he's kind of a gun grabber and he's, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. he's kind of pro war and, you know, kind of lied about being pro certain... reparations, wants to take the guns away, anti nuclear. Um, you know the best thing about him is, is his stance on the on the vax and stuff and like his his really his understanding of that and that that that's really what you know what got me excited but he seems to be a hypocrite in other ways like he's like he's got the he, these principles that he's 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 very good at explaining but there there's hypocrisy in his policies mm -hmm, totally personally i'm not going to vote uh the general um or for the the final elections guy. I just, you're I don't know. I feel vote. like I'm treating myself as a joke. Honestly, you're, you're an agorist. You're an agorist. You're not even going to participate. You think the, nah. be the best way to No, I mean, there, there's, you know, there's potential value to that, that option. Uh, I'm not there yet. I still think the best way is to engage and just try to see. I care more about, you got to like, join them to beat them type thing, you know, local elections. I think those matter oh more. Um, oh, 100 percent. I mean, especially presidential, right? Like I live in New York, so it doesn't even matter. You know, it's it's a democratic state. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, local locals where it's at, you have a much larger effect. But we we shall see. You know, you know, you never know. We might get we might get Trump mumbling the the minute the word Monero before you know it. Potentially. And he, I mean, he is he has been like kind of. I guess in a way, sort of inviting libertarians to the table a little bit, um, and he's he's really seeing the value in 
a min, you know, reducing the role of the federal government because he's actively being attacked by it, right? So he yes. personally wants to get into office and disrupt it. He wants to disrupt the federal government. So I'll, I'll vote for that. I'll vote for somebody that wants to go in there and just start fucking breaking everything in there <laughs> <laughs> and trying to just disrupt the federal government, reduce its reduce the amount of power it has. Because uh, I think he, I think he's personally been affected by it. It's been weaponized against him. He wants to reduce the ability that that the federal government has to weaponize itself against freedom loving uh, citizens. Because he 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 was personally affected by it. So, um, um you know. This is how I'm justifying, justifying <laughs> myself. Vote Doug 2024. Yeah, man. That's right. I don't think so. Never again. Never again. There's so much more I could do in Monero land. All right. We got last, last news here. Uh, tariffs over taxes. For most of American history, tariffs dominate taxes, a source of federal government revenue. I think this is coming out because Trump talked. He like mentioned, what if we got rid of like income oh, tax? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. It's great. It's a great read, though. I mean, this guy, Balaji, I, I love this guy, except I don't know what he's like a Z casher <laughs> somehow. <laughs> we got to get him on Monero. He's such there a smart dude. Um, yeah. Eliminate. He suggested eliminating U.S. income taxes and replacing it with tariffs. So, yeah, they, here, there, here's another example, this. right? What's up? I'll definitely be reading through this after the. Yeah, give it a good read. I mean, he's he's basically saying how uh, you know this is how things were uh, essentially originally done, right? Uh, mm -hmm. You know, in income tax is a relatively relatively new thing. It kind of takes us back to potentially takes us back to the glory days. I'm definitely um, in favor of tariffs or I mean, like it'd be nice if there's none, right? But in favor of tariffs over tax, yes, for sure. Yeah, and his argument is to like you know, f complete open free trade is great in theory, but when you're at a point where you have like China that's China producing stuff. Yeah. military grade robots, and then we're just producing like basically worthless crap, right? Like we don't produce anything here. We're just like a you know, <laughs> we just, we're just managers. Everybody's just a manager yeah. here in yeah. the U.S. Nobody's producing anything, so yeah. we get ourselves in a position where. They now hold all the freaking power, right? So mm -hmm. uh, this is incentivizing. Well, more like disincentivizing people manufacturing stuff abroad. Yeah, basically. And then on the other side, to have income taxes eliminated. Oh my god, that would get, be get, insane. Basically, I mean, get rid of the I, get rid of the IRS businesses and stuff here. Yeah, actually, if you go down, scroll down. Um, what was one of his first comments? Uh, wait, go down. Some of the comments on it. Oh, yeah. Read uh, Lynn Albright's comment. This is great. Uh, Lynn Alden? Lynn Alden, yeah. Income taxes became ubiquitous when financial surveillance became ubiquitous. If private P2P payments become more common, it's quite possible that tax methods will also revert to older eras where they were attached to more obvious physical things rather than income. Monerica. So it once Monerica takes over, this is, you know, this is the this is what the transition will be in the US. It will no longer make sense for income taxes to exist because it, you know, it, it just it won't be a, an efficient model for for taxing the people. Uh, they'll be forced to use other means. Um, so, I, I think it's 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 a pretty good theory, and uh, Monero definitely gets us there. Bitcoin, not so much. I, I you know, I don't know. Well, does Lynn does Lynn know that? I mean, probably not. I know. Like, does Lynn think Bitcoin takes us to a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, world where the government can't easily tax? I don't, I don't know where she's getting that information from. Uh, Bitcoin, I think, does the opposite. <laughs> creates a perfectly surveillable well, she a Bitcoin uh, econo person? economic she system. She say Bitcoin here. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. She's a Bitcoin person, though. I don't know who she yeah. is. But maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Lynn's uh, a Monero person at the end of the day. Who knows? But I think that's that's a pretty good theory, and uh, it has a lot to do with Monero and moving us towards this vision where essentially it doesn't it doesn't make sense for them to assess income taxes because we'll be doing everything peer to peer. So there'll have to be some other means for them to to raise money. 